Let's bring in Alan Nuckman, Chief Market Strategist at BullseyeOption.com, recent trader of uh, beaten down Chinese companies. So uh, seeing some strength, uh, Alan, and companies like Bob, i got to make you feel good about Weibo, or as you call it, Weibo. Yeah, the whole sector. You've talked about FXI has made a storming comeback, and it was all about risk-reward. Now everybody's starting to buy into this China uh, recovery. Communism wins uh, for traders uh, <laughs> set up. And so we'll see. My, my question is, do I take profits ahead of earnings on some of these options? Because, you know, who knows? It's a binary decision. They yeah. even know that, you know, even, even if you knew what the earnings were, you don't know how the markets can react. So that's the ever forever question as a trader. And that's, that gets me back to sell too soon. Making money never hurts. Okay. So uh, sounds like maybe you're veering in that direction and take some profits on your long China trades. Yeah, I, that's just, I got to follow my mentality. I'm not smart enough to do, you know, to always uh, do the right thing. So I've got to follow my plan. My plan is always to take half my profits at 50% gain and another half profits at 100%. And if it goes more than that, you know, I've got to be happy. All right. Uh, today you're looking at international energy. Vale, how come? What, what, what's going on? What, what's, in your, what's in that mind, Alan? What's in it's that risk powerful head of it, yours? Nobody loves it. It's risk reward. I've got my bullish divergence in bottom, meaning it made new lows, but not new highs in implied volatility. Actually, a two-year low here just last month. Um, and so you're seeing a sentiment shift. This is a stock that's 45% off its 2021 top, and it's uh, down 20% just from its December high. So it's all about risk reward, and I love the chart pattern. I'm also seeing some smart money, some leverage buying, starting to accumulate positions in this stock. Now, this is boring. Boring, I guess, bore is a mining term, but this is a very boring <laughs> play. Uh, we've been between 12 and 16 here for, for a year, and if we get above that 14 midpoint, we should get a, get a pop to that 16 range top. All right. Uh, so you're looking for a real uh, you know, beat down trade to come back here because uh, this was just making new 52-week lows in the last right. month. Right. So it's all about the risk reward. Obviously, it's a it's a negative stock in an everything bull market. Uh, and uh, the dollar decline could be helpful to obviously any of these resource stocks. And that's part of the play as well. This stock's been between 10 and 20 since 2020. So it's what we would say coiling here. We made this big wedge in the fact that we're making higher lows and lower highs. So that's a, a sign of a market move. Now, the way to play is equally as important. Uh, I'm looking at a January option, again, boring, super boring, a January 10 call. That's that super support bottom. Uh, and it's trading for about three, and it's 260 in the money. So the expiration break even is 40 cents higher, and I've got eight months of time for good things to happen. Now, if it just gets to the 16 range top, then this option gains 100%. It's just math. All right. In the money calls, looking for violated to take off. To bounce. V Valet or Valley? I don't know. I don't know how it's said, well, but I, I love the I think Valet. Uh, we I think be you're thinking of Frankie Valley in the, in the Four Seasons. Alibaba? Yeah. Bob yeah, so, you know, yeah, I don't easy. care how you pronounce it. It's really what the charts <laughs> tell me. And let's get back to Ben. I, I heard Ben, and I heard him correctly. Oh, yeah. He's give me your two cents. Yeah, give me your two cents, Alan. He, he says you've got to give it to the Bulls. And those were his direct words. You've got to give it to the Bulls. I know he's had a lot of time to think, and that's what he's come up with. So we'll see with this CPI. But you know what? Uh, you know, Powell has played the market perfectly so far. And I think people are okay with 3% being the new 2% when it mm. comes to uh, when it comes to our number. All right. Okay. A little inflation call there, too. All right. We'll take it on a Monday morning. Thanks for the trade, Alan Nuckman. All right. All right. Thank you. You got it. Chief Market Strategist, BullseyeOption.com. All right. From trading to gambling, let's go to Vegas and Macau, perhaps, as we've seen some.